Wait. You're... No, you're not one of those riffraff, are you? No. I'm passing through. Good. You don't look like one of those lot. Madmen. A lot of them. All, all madmen. Better not get too close to them. What's someone like you doing on this island? I'm a guardian of the mages, and I'm on an important mission. I'm collecting crystals for the mages. I wound up on this island here, and, well, as you can see, I'm still here. And? Found any crystals yet? Sure. Loads. Ah, oh, damn it. Why am I telling you this? Because I asked. Yes, I know, but it's actually none of your business. You're just an honest person. Ah, oh, damn it. That's what my father always said. Faruko sent me. He wants me to ask about rock crystal. Rock crystals? Faruko? Yes, of course. Here are the five crystals I managed to find. They were in a dark cave deep in the mountain here on Kila. I found them near a small spring. Excellent. Show me your magic crystals. That's just what you're waiting for. You're going to take them away from me, aren't you? I was thinking more of a small trading business. Hmm. Fine. Here's what I propose. I'll give you my magic crystals if you help me find my equipment. Where did you lose your equipment? I buried it at the foot of a mountain up north. Then these horrible water creatures appeared. I had to run for it. I had to stop what I was doing and leave everything behind. All right. I'll help you get your gear back. Excellent. Well, like I said, I'll give you some magic crystals in return, all right? Do you have anything else you can sell me? Sure. Have a look what I've got to offer.
Here. I found your equipment. Ha! Was it still in the small cave at the foot of the mountain in the north? Yeah, still there. Fantastic! So now I can resume my work. Many thanks. That deserves a few magic crystals. Here, take them. And thanks again. Have you looked in Cunningham's books? No, I can't read. Really? Man, even I can bloody well read. Of course I can read, idiots. But all this cod's wallop is good for is wiping your arse. All right, all right, I've got the picture. Why are you still on Booze's side? He doesn't preach morals and all that crap. You'll see what comes of it. Yeah, yeah, you lot ain't got no balls. Do you know who Hawkins keeps talking to all the time? Hank. Who's Hank? We don't have a Hank. That should answer your question. You mean... Yes. I saw a ghost ship once. You don't say. Ah, look at what the floodwaters brought in. Another fucking weirdo. I hope you have gold in your pockets. Interested in doing some business? What kind of business are we talking about? Ah, I see you know how to grab an opportunity when you see one. Listen, I'm looking for someone who can get me something. Let me guess. That someone is me. Well, you seem well-traveled, and the task is a no-brainer for someone like you. All you have to do is go to Antigua, find my brother Flynn, and remind him of my inheritance. About the inheritance... I ran into your brother Flynn on Antigua. Your inheritance wouldn't happen to be a sword fragment, would it? Damn, so you know about that. I'll make you a deal. You get me his sword fragment and I'll reward you appropriately. Forget him. Give me the sword fragment now. Idiot. There. Enjoy it, you bastard. Yeah, my clothes stink.
Why didn't you remind your brother of the inheritance? Never got round to it. It's a long trip after all. Are you scared of long journeys? Shut up. I'm not afraid. I don't need to be afraid. I bet I can teach you a few things. Do you do anything else besides shady dealings? I pass the time throwing knives. It frightens the rats away. Right. I always train late at night, until after midnight. If ever you fancy a game, let me know. I always like throwing for a few coins. What can you teach me? That depends. Let's trade. All right. Being a bosun has nothing but disadvantages. What? He doesn't preach morals and all that crap. You'll see what comes. What do you know about Douglas? One of the few people who was still on my side. I'm sure Harry has got him on his conscience. Any leads? Bah, that disloyal bastard is crazy enough to kill all of us. I'm sure he lured Douglas into one of those caves and slit his throat. You've got no business here. Says who? Says me. And I'm the boss around here. Without me, people here will be dying of thirst. So you're going to do as I say. Don't fuck with me. You want your ass kicked. Hey, just, just calm down, all right? I was just showing off a bit. Here, you, you can have my rum ration. So... Put your fist down, okay? Don't lay it on so thick next time. Hmm. Yeah. You're probably right. Soon we won't have any fresh water left here anyway. And then we'll all be at each other's throats. Take a look around. There's enough water here for everyone. Oh, you think you're clever, don't you? You ever drink salt water? Anyone who thinks that is a good idea must have been dropped on their head as a baby. Without access to the only water source here on Kila, we've had it. No water, no rum, no nothing. Why can't you get to the water? Because we always get a spear in the arse if we get too close to the waterfall. The natives here don't do sharing. Make them an offer they can't refuse. Sure. And what might that be? Gold solves all problems. And where am I going to get gold? What little gold I have. I need to bribe the lads from time to time. Booze can't watch over me all the time. It's not going to work. Can't you help me? I could really do with a hand here. Do the others know you'll soon run out of water? Are you crazy? I might as well dig my own grave. When Booze realizes we're about to run dry, he'll string me up for sure. Nobody trusts anyone here as far as they can throw them, so keep your mouth shut. Where is the water source? Go further inland. Keep southwest until you encounter a waterfall. Just watch out for the natives. Relax. 
I'll get you water. Oh, thanks. That would be great. How good are you with a knife? Hey, easy there, all right? I don't want any trouble. I fucking meant how good are you at throwing a knife? All right. Wouldn't you say so in the first place? I'd say I'm okay at it. I practice every day at noon at the throwing board. You can challenge me if you like. Teach me something. What do I know? I'm only interested in my barrels. Unless you have gold. Then I'm the person to speak to. Teach me. Only if the price is right. What do you sell? What? Do I see the end? Of course I see it. Death is taking its toll. No one is safe. It's already taken, Douglas. And it's only a matter of time before the next of us bite the dust. You don't think in all seriousness that he'll be satisfied with Douglas's sacrifice? Do you also see the black mist above the water? Hmm. No. That's fine, then. Sadek just sees an illusion. That's probably the rum. No. No wrong images, Bucho. Sadek can see. Sadek sees the other side. Rum is only for the mind. What do you mean by other side? Here, drink this, and you will understand. With this, you'll see the world through the eyes of a true warrior. All you need for defeating your opponent is right before your eyes. Oh, really? Only the right stuff will stir up your senses, good job. I could use someone like you and my crew. You seem to know a lot about potions. Sadek would like nothing more than to sail to sea again. But Sadek must stay. Booze needs Sadek here. Sadek has much to thank Booze for. Booze saved Sadek's life. Now Booze is having a hard time. His spirit is in a fog. Sadek cannot leave Booze until Booze sees clearly again. Booze isn't quite with it. Gee. That's why Sadek stays until Booze can see clearly again. You can really put it away, my friend. Rum is healthy and dispels evil spirits. Well, when you put it that way... What? Oh yes. The natives will overwhelm us and slaughter us like wild animals. Their warriors are dark and their spears are deadly. Their spies know all about our weaknesses. We cannot win. I'll never advance deeper into the jungle again. No gold in the world can save me from perdition. And who will look after you then? Let's get off this island quickly, Hank. Let's see. He secretly created a glass statue. He sent it to Antigua but it smashed while it was being unloaded. So I should have a look around the harbor of Antigua.
After they'd fought their way through these intractable lianas, they took one of them to the west coast of Calador. It was a reminder of what their weapons had achieved and served as a lucky charm. Interesting. Keep your hands... Th Please excuse my curiosity, but are you new here? I landed recently. Ruinous imminentibus musculi emigrant. What? Just a little exercise in the language of scholars. Do you suffer from a speech impediment? Well, I could ask the same of you, but I will explain. I once served on a galley of the Inquisition. A slight mishap aggrieved my captain, however, and now here I am, always ready to lend a helping hand to those in need. What are you working on? Well, I think my expertise in local fauna would bore somebody of your type. At present, I'm working on a manuscript about Camellia sinensis, which grows in this area. Sadly, my last specimen of the plant died due to somewhat adverse conditions. Do you need help getting the plant? Yes, I do. And with your perspicacity, you're practically predestined to take the job. It grows in high elevations, and it is impossible for humans to obtain. But I have a solution up my sleeve. Yeah? Let's hear it. So, I've awakened your interest. Excellent. Attentive listeners are always welcome. Come on, get to the point. I have a doll from the natives here. With it, the user can turn himself into a parrot. That creature's ability to fly means that high elevations no longer pose a problem. Would you be willing to be my guinea pig and use the doll to acquire the plant? How did you get the voodoo doll? Well, a native spotted me during one of my expeditions. In order to demonstrate my good intentions, I shared my food with him. He gave me the doll in exchange. Right. Regrettably, a polite demeanor is not prevalent among the local pirates, so it's not surprising that the newly established trust was soon lost. I still have a few questions. Ask away. What do you know about Kila? Well, both the island and the people of its native tribe are known as Kila. You'd think that would get confusing. Its climate can only be described as tropical. This is also reflected in the diversity of its fauna. Nature is on display in its most beautiful form here. As you can see from my friends, the parrots. How do you get on with the pirates? Well, it certainly couldn't be called a peaceful coexistence. But as long as someone helps those louts fight off scurvy, they'll leave me alone. Also, Booze is keeping an eye on me. It's a thoroughly satisfactory arrangement. I want to know more about the natives. I believe that they are second to none of the other native tribes. Like the other tribes, they practice all kinds of voodoo, 
and their social structures are quite similar. The fundamental difference is that they worship some sort of primitive god. I hear they call it the Oracle. Unfortunately, I can't provide you with any substantiated information on that subject. Any idea what's wrong with Hawkins? Well, as the ship's doctor, I am always concerned with the health of the crew. The symptoms Hawkins is displaying are not those of a typical tropical disease. My preliminary diagnosis is leaning more toward a personality disorder. What does that mean? To put it simply, he's not himself. All right, that I understood. Give me the doll. I'll get you the plant. Superb. Here, take it. I recommend you search the rock plateau south of here for the plant. All right. Is there a more exact description of where I can find the plant? Well, to put it simply, do the following. Follow the path that leads into the jungle here, and then keep going in a south-southwesterly direction as much as the terrain permits. Once you reach the hollow of the natives, you'll see several rock plateaus. Look carefully at the cliff face on the left. There should be a structure built by the natives there. In order to get to the structure, you'll need the doll. But be careful, I don't have another doll. Can you teach me something? Can I teach you something? Yes, I'm fairly sure I can. So close to the pirates. Gucho speaks of the pirates. Gucho is not a pirate? No, I'm not with them. That mean you never visit Azkila before? No, not yet. Answer my question. What Bobo wanted here with pirates? Bobo wanted to know if pirates dangerous or not. Watch them. But then Bobo got thirsty. The foul water burned. Drank it anyway was not one of Boba's brightest ideas. Oh. That was liquor you drank. Uh, liquor? Have pirates poisoned Bobo? Pirates drink it for fun. Uh, pirates strange, Guchos. Bobo wants to go home. 
I'd better take the remaining booze with me. Gee, evil water bad for Bobo's stomach. Even the plants don't like it. Take it, Kucho. How do you drink that much? It's not hard, Kucho. Ask Bobo. Teach me how to boost the effect of alcohol. No problem, Hoshi. If you show me the way, I'll go with you. As you've never been to the killer camp, I'll show you the way. Bobo can hardly stand upright. How is Bobo going to fight alone? I'll give you gold if you take me to the killer camp. Let's head for your camp. Good, good. Just so you know, Kila is crawling with spiders. These are dangerous days. Bobo happy that Gucho is coming with him. Karaka! All this running makes my head spin. What in the name of the Hike do your Guchos do to your heads? I feel as if a horde of gorillas has eaten me and shit me out again. What are the Hike? Hike are the spirits of our ancestors. They make sure that Bobo is punished. They punish me because I watch other people secretly. They punish me with what you call, uh, booze. You'll be all right. Let's get moving. Hmm. This will be a difficult match. Okay. Raka! 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 Fight! We stay together. Hoshi. This is the killer's watering hole. Bobor must take break. Oh, all right. We'll take a break. Just tell Bobor when you want to leave. I think the poor fellow's about to fall asleep standing up. You know, sometimes a swift kick in the ass can work miracles. Too much palaver. Too little sleep. Bobo loves breaks. Watching the flow of the water has an almost hypnotic effect. Shitty weather, shitty food, shitty natives. No, oh, you're just talking crap. Call a hit. No more creepy crawling. Why the fuck do we have to hang around here? Punch or be punched, that's the way it's always been. I don't trust that booze. I wouldn't want to even hunt a pig in this jungle. Shitty weather, shitty food, shitty natives. Well, 
Burn that! Ah, you're just talking crap. Well, if you're asking, I wanted... Silence! You Guchos take for yourselves what Gaia has granted us. Our livestock, our water, and our oro. Oro? What the fuck is that? Oro are golden stones from the mountain. Guchos have great greed in eyes when Asali brings news of oro. We, Kila, need stones for jewelry and to appease the ancestors. Calm down. I don't want your livestock or anything else. Big talk. Gucho steal where they can. If you want proof, go to our village. Our Tonkas have caught one of you. Soon, he will be sacrificed to our oracle. Tell me more about the prisoner. As Sally does not know much about this Gucho. Wrong eyes, wrong words. Go to our village if you want to know more. Just trust me. I won't hurt you. Hmm. If only I could look into your heart. If it is pure, then you speak the truth. We could tear it out. Uh, no, we won't do that. There's gotta be an easier way. Bring Asali a token of friendship and I will trust you. Asali will also permit Guchos to get water from here. Now, about that symbol of friendship. Friendship isn't based on rewards, but on trust. Such wise words from a Gucho. Asali is impressed. From now on, I will share whatever the Hike grant us. Capo Guchos. Take as much water as you can carry. Gaia is looking upon you favorably. One day you will be his strong Chaka of Guchos. Some for me! 
That was fast. <laughs> 